Hello and welcome to week six of Prep Files. This week has been a bit up and down and you'll see that in the video. I definitely didn't record as many things as I intended to because I kind of just got sucked in trying to keep myself motivated, keeping sane throughout the past week as it's been quite a difficult um, challenge for me this week. So the video isn't quite as long as it usually is. I started the week feeling quite low and quite disheartened and just tired with the whole process. Just really because I think I feel felt exhausted and just felt like I needed a day off and a day of rest. I wasn't really prepared for that. I battled through it and really thankful to have such amazing support of friends and family. And just kind of took some time to sort of think about the progress that I've made over the past 15 weeks and as of tomorrow we have five weeks to go really close to the end and really looking forward to seeing how much my body can change in the next five weeks on my last check-in i got a refeed on saturday night which was sushi and we're going to start there another amazing check-in which means another refeed so tonight we're having sushi i get it from a little japanese place in trolley called mag's japanese cafe and it is absolutely amazing so I had a refeed last night after my check-in. I've woke up a kilo heavier than I was yesterday morning at check-in. So the refeed's obviously done what it's supposed to. I've woke up today feeling a little bit flat and tired and just a bit grumpy. So I've canceled plans to see my mum. Just because I'm really aware at the moment, I am quite irritable. I snap quite a lot and I really struggle with just sometimes holding down a conversation so I would rather not put my family and friends in that situation so I'm just going to take some time this afternoon I've already walked and trained so I've just got my cardio to do I'm going to take some time this afternoon to do a bit of self-care and just have a bit of a rest I tried this for the first time today and it is amazing so I've had another less than positive day today Sunday I found really difficult because I just wanted to not do anything and lie on the couch and watch films and eat ice cream so I really struggled with Sunday but I ticked everything off. Mondays are always horrific because I have to be in work for um, quarter to seven which means I have to get up at quarter to five. It was dark this morning after the clock's going back so that really threw me off. I then did my cardio so I only managed to do 40 minutes this morning, 45 minutes this morning. I then went to work and worked from quarter to seven till quarter to five, drove home, which takes me 45 minutes, went and got my rest of my steps in, came home, ate, trained, ate, did my cardio, and then did my posing. So I'm just sitting down for the night and it's now 10 o'clock. Some days are extremely difficult and extremely hard. These are the bits that you don't see on the shiny Instagram pages and all the bits that you miss out when you're trying to get abs and look stage ready. It's really amazing how much my mood can change day to day and sometimes I can snap out of it and sometimes I just can't. I've got two days off work now which I know is going to do them with the world of good. The weather's supposed to be nice which means that I can walk and do my garden, put a wash on and just do some normal life things as well. But yeah, I'm finding this week quite difficult and quite tiring, but I'll crack through and I'll get on with it and um, we are nearly less than 40 days down now, so the countdown is officially on. be glad to know that I have bounced back from my little negative spell that I was having. Yesterday I was off work and just took some time to kind of reflect on the journey that I've been doing and spent some time with friends in my garden and then went for a nice walk up Rivington Pike with some other friends. It really helped get my positivity back and the bounce in my step so I've got back to it. I did tick all my boxes on those days but it was just a real struggle to get through them. We are less than 40 days away now 
and back to my usual positive, outgoing, forward thinking self. Something that really helps with my sweet cravings is low calorie jellies. So as to do these um, less than five calorie jellies, most of them only have one calorie in. So they really help me when I've got a sweet craving. It was so bad today that I've just walked to Asda to go and get one and I'm currently drinking it out of the top <laughs> with the lid on. Needs most. holiday Friday, good Friday, happy Easter everybody and I am up at half five as although I don't have work me and some friends have decided we're going to go walk in Malham and we want to miss the bank holiday traffic so I'm starting my day off with mince and rice at half five in the morning. <laughs> happy Easter! All packed up and ready to go for the day. Also curb my sweet cravings, I like to mix my breakfast up on non-training days. So today I am making pancakes. So we add 20 grams of oats, two egg whites and some protein powder. And then I just fry it in the pan until this side crisps up and then I flip it over. Close enough. <laughs> Pancakes are ready, so I'm just gonna to top them with some skinny syrup maple syrup, which is amazing. And I've just spilled it all over my worktop. Woohoo! Pancakes for breakfast. So guys, that is the end of week six. We had a check-in this morning and it's gone really well. So John has given me another refeed, which is fantastic. Um, I also sliced my finger open having my family around this afternoon. But thank you so much for watching. And we are now five weeks tomorrow. The end is in sight. It's been a very emotional roller coaster of a week. And I know that the next five weeks are gonna be really difficult. Um, but the end is in sight and we're nearly there. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next week.